Hello learners, this is Habiba with Pedagogy of Social Sciences. Social Sciences as an integrating area of study, context and concerns with the subtopic Contributions of Some Eminent Social Scientists. Till now we have discussed about different social scientists like Christopher Columbus, Max Weber, Karl Marx, Chanakya, Amritya Sen. Today we are going to learn about Mother Teresa. Introduction Mother Mary Teresa Bajakshu, honored in the Catholic Church as Saint Teresa of Calcutta, was an Albanian Indian Roman Catholic nun and missionary. She was born in Skopje, then part of the Kosovo Vilay of the Ottoman Empire. After living in Skopje for 18 years, she moved to Ireland and then to India, where she lived for most of her life. In 1950, Teresa founded the Missionaries of Charity, a Roman Catholic religious congregation that had over 4,500 nuns and was active in 133 countries in 212. The congregation manages homes for people who are dying of HIV, AIDS, leprosy and tuberculosis. It also runs soup kitchens, dispensaries, mobile clinics, children's and family counseling programs as well as orphanages and schools. Members take vows of chastity, poverty and obedience and also profess a fourth vow to give wholehearted free service to the poorest of the poor. Teresa received a number of honors including the 1962 Ramon Magsese Peace Prize and the 1979 Nobel Peace Prize. She was canonized on 14th September 2016 and the anniversary of her death is her feast day. Her authorized biography was written by Naveen Chawla and published in 1992 and she has been the subject of films and other books. On 6 September 2017, Teresa and St. Francis Xavier were named co-patrons of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Calcutta. Let's understand her early life. Teresa was born Ag Agne Gonsha Bajakshu in Albania on 26th August 1910 into a Kosovar Albanian family in Skopje Ottoman Empire, now the capital of North Macedonia. She was baptized in Skopje the day after her birth. She later considered 27th August the day she was baptized her true birthday. She was the youngest child of Nicole and Dranfal Bojakshu, Barnai, her father, who was involved in Albanian community politics in Ottoman Macedonia, died in 1919 when she was 8 years old. He was born in prison today in Kosovo. However, his family was from Mirdita, present-day Albania. Her mother may have been from a village near Jokova. According to a biography by John Graf Klukas, Teresa was in her early years when she was fascinated by stories of the lives of missionaries and their service in Bengali. By age 12, she was convinced that she should commit herself to religious life. She resolved strengthened on 15th August 1928 as she prayed at the shrine of the Black Madonna of Vitina Letnis, where she often went on pilgrimages. Teresa left home in 1928 at the age 18 to join the Sisters of Loreto at Loreto Abbey in Rattenham, Ireland to learn English with the intent of becoming a missionary. English was the language of instruction of the sisters of Loreto in India. She was neither her mother nor her sister again. Her family lived in Skopje until 1934 when they moved to Tirana. She arrived in India in 1929 and began her novitiate in Darjeeling in the lower Himalayas 
where she learned Bengali and taught at St. Teresa's school near her convent. Teresa took her first religious vows on 24th May 1931. She chose to be named after Teresa D. Lixu, the patron saint of missionaries, because a nun in the convent had already chosen that name. She opted for its Spanish spelling, Teresa. Teresa took her solemn vows on 14th May 1937 while she was a teacher at the Loreto Convent School in Entelli, Eastern Calcutta. She served there for nearly 20 years and was appointed its headmistress in 1944. Although Teresa enjoyed teaching at the school, she was increasingly disturbed by the poverty surrounding her in Calcutta. The Bengal famine of 1943 brought misery and death to the city and the August 1946 direct action day began a period of Muslim-Hindu violence. During this visit to Darjeeling by train, she heard the call of her inner conscience. She felt that she should serve the poor by staying with them. She left the school in 1950. She founded Missionaries of Charity. She went out to serve humanity with two saris with a blue border. Now let's understand missionaries of charity. On 10th September 1946, Teresa experienced what she later described as the call within the call. When she travelled by train to the Loreto convent in Darjeeling from Calcutta for her annual retreat, I was to leave the convent and help the poor while living among them. It was an order. To fail would have been to break the faith. Joseph Langford later wrote, Though no one knew it at the time, Sister Teresa had just become Mother Teresa. She began missionary work with the poor in 1948, replacing her traditional Loreto habit with a simple white cotton sari with a blue border. Teresa adopted Indian citizenship, spent several months in Patna to receive basic medical training at Holy Family Hospital and ventured into the slums. She founded a school in Moti Jeel, Kolkata, before she began tending to the poor and hungry. At the beginning of 1949, Teresa was joined in her effort by a group of young women and she laid the foundation for a new religious community helping the poorest among the poor. Her efforts quickly caught the attention of Indian officials, including the Prime Minister. Teresa wrote in her diary that her first year was fought with difficulty. With no income, she begged for food and supplies and experienced doubt, loneliness and the temptation to return to the comfort of convent life during these early months. Our Lord wants me to be a free nun covered with the poverty of the cross. Today I learned a good lesson. The poverty of the poor must be so hard for them. While looking for a home, I walked and walked till my arms and legs ached. I thought how much they must ache in body and soul looking for a home, food and health. Then the comfort of Loreto her former congregation came to tempt me. You have only to say the word and all that will be yours again. The tempter kept on saying, Of free choice, my God, and out of love for you, I desire to remain and do whatever be your holy will in my regard. I did not let a single tear come. On 7th October 1950, Teresa received Vatican permission for the Dysocian Congregation, which would become the Missionaries of Charity. In her words, it would care for the hungry, the naked, the homeless, the crippled, the blind, the lepers, all those people who feel unwanted, unloved, uncared for throughout society, people that have become a burden to the society and are shunned by everyone. In 1952, Teresa opened her first hospice with help from Calcutta officials, 
she converted an abandoned Hindu temple into the Kali Ghat home for the dying, free for the poor, and renamed it Kali Ghat, the home of the pure heart, Nirmal Hridaya. Those brought to the home received medical attention and the opportunity to die with dignity in accordance with their faith. Muslims were read the Quran, Hindu received water from the Ganges, and Catholics received extreme unction, a beautiful death. Teresa said, ease for people who lived like animals to die like angels loved and wanted. Teresa said, by blood I am Albanian, by citizenship an Indian, by faith I am a Catholic nun. As to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus. Fluent in five languages, Bengali, Albanian, Serbian, English and Hindi, she made occasional trips outside India for humanitarian reasons. Now let's conclude. On 13th March 1997, Teresa resigned as head of the missionaries of charity and she died on 5th September. At the time of her death, the missionaries of charity had over 4,000 sisters and an associated brotherhood of 300 members operating 610 missions in 123 countries. So we come to the end of this session. Thanks for your attention and time. As motivation, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Happy learning.